Bonjour Year 8 and welcome back to Lesson 2 of the Summer Second Half Term and you're still looking at the um, overall subject of Les Copains Friends. Before you start, make sure you've got everything you need and the equipment for this lesson will be the exercise book that the school gave you, a pen and a ruler, your knowledge organizer for module six, which is on class charts, which you can open in a window, um, and also wordreference.com for any new vocabulary, which can also be opened in a different tab for a new web browser. So pause to get that ready now. Great year eight. If you have any questions about the learning activities in today's lesson, then please do email me with any questions that you have or help that you need. Thank you for those of you who sent through your um, your lessons, um, your lesson on class charts. Please upload today's lesson when you finished it onto class charts again so I can have a look and I can give you very well deserved achievement points for great work. Merci. Copier la date, jeudi 4 juin, et le titre, à mon avis, Notre collège est génial, which means, in my opinion, our school is great. Underline those for me, please, now. And then write the objective, l'objectif, to use possessive adjectives accurately in French. Pause to get that ready now and press play to go on to the do now activity. Your do now activity should take around 10 minutes. I would like you to choose the correct form of the possessive adjective our in French. Write the phrases into your book and then you will translate them into English. So if you look at the green box, in order to choose the correct possessive noun, notre or nous, you must check whether the noun is singular or plural, which you worked on a lot last lesson. Look for the S at the end, as this might help you, although it doesn't always um, help you. It's not a strict rule, but it may help you decide if something is plural or not. Look for meaning that is the most important, so you try and translate it and work out the meaning. OK, pause to fill out those possessive adjectives now. So here are the answers you should have written down. Not Film préféré, our favorite film. Numéro deux, nos meilleurs amis. Okay, so here your noun is ami and it has an S on it, so that is the biggest indicator that this is a plural and requires no. Meilleur is the adjective which also has an S as it's agreeing with ami. Friends plural. Our best friends is what that means. Okay, numéro trois. No pas temps. Okay, so this is a hyphenated word. So here, um, the temps is the noun and the important bit. Okay, so it's past time. It's our um, hobbies or our pastimes. We say sometimes as well. It means our leisure activities too. Okay, numéro quatre. Notre collège, numéro 5, oh sorry, which is our school, numéro 5, notre ville, which is our town, numéro 6, nos professeurs d'anglais, okay, so your noun here is professeur, okay, um, when we talk about, this is your adjective anglais, and even in the singular, it has the S on the end, so that could fool you if that were singular. Um, so you must always go with the noun, identify the noun, okay? Um, and then you, if it has an S, then that indicates that it is going to be a plural. That means our English teachers. We are set, notre sport préféré, our favorite sport. Numéro 8, nos matières préférées. So matière is your noun, which is subjects. And préféré is favorite. And here, 
the adjective préféré, meaning favorite, does agree with the noun and has an S on it as well, but this is your main indicator of whether something is plural as well. Always look to the noun, okay, and it says so in this green box. So pause if you need to read that now. And then I will pass the lesson on to Mrs. Turner. And I look forward to seeing all your fantastic work on class charts after the lesson. Merci, au revoir. Activité 1. Listen and follow the text. Mes meilleurs amis s'appellent Yasmina, Coralie, Estelle et Vincent. On est différents, mais on a les mêmes passe-temps. On va tout dans le même collège, le collège Georges Méliès. C'est un collège moderne. À mon avis, la cantine est super, mais le gymnase est un peu petit. J'aime bien habiter à Paris parce qu'il y a plein de choses à faire. Mais c'est trop grand et il y a trop de voitures. Ma matière préférée, c'est le dessin. J'aime bien le prof de dessin, le prof de sport et le prof d'anglais. Ils sont assez sympas. J'aime beaucoup regarder Friends à la télé. Mon sport préféré, c'est le foot. Mes acteurs préférés sont Nicole Kidman et Pierce Brosnan. Je n'ai pas de chanteur préféré. Rewind the video to listen again. Activité 2. The students must fill out, fill out a form about their interests before going on an exchange trip. Read Patrick's information again and fill out the form, the fiche, the form for him. Copy and complete this form into your book. You have 10 minutes. Pause the video now. Bien, let's look at the answers. So you were using the text that we listened to and that you've had a chance to read again to fill in the information required by this form. Off we go. Mon collège. You should have said it was modern, moderne. Cantine super. Gymnase petit. Ma ville. There were positives and negatives. J'aime ma ville. Il y a plein de choses à faire. Lots of things to do. The negative. Trop grand. Too big. Trop de voitures. Too many cars. Anytime you see this word trop, meaning too or too much, you know that there's going to be some negative opinion. Mes professeurs. Sympa. Mon sport préféré, le foot. Mon émission préférée, you may have had to look up the word émission, it means TV programme. Friends. Mes matières préférées, my favourite subject, matière, subject. Le dessin. Mes acteurs, chanteurs préférés, my favourite actors and chanteurs, c'est singers. Nicole Kidman et Piers Brosnan. Je n'ai pas de chanteur préféré. I don't have a favorite singer. So last lesson, we looked at the possessive adjective for our, um, as in belonging to us, notre and nos. And we considered whether nouns were singular or plural so that we could use the correct form of this possessive adjective. We're now adding in the rest of the possessive adjectives. So you can see them here on the grid and you can see that sometimes it changes according to whether the noun is masculine or feminine, mon, ma, or plural, me. Ton, ta, te, son, sa, se. So with the singular noun, um, possessive adjectives, mine, yours, his or hers, it makes a difference whether the noun is masculine or feminine or plural. With the plural possessive adjectives, like our, your, belonging to all of you, or their, 
gender becomes irrelevant and you're only looking at whether things are um, singular or plural. So notre for masculine, notre for feminine is the same, and no for plural. Votre, votre, vos, leur, leur, leur. You'll notice that these all sound the same on the bottom row, um, but you do need the plural S if you are saying that something belongs to them, something that's plural. Note as well, for singular nouns beginning with a vowel or an H, you would always use the masculine singular possessive adjective, mon, ton, or son. For example, ami with an E is feminine, Sophie is a girl's name, but we can't say ma ami s'appelle Sophie. We say mon ami s'appelle Sophie, my friend is called Sophie. And that's for liaison, to make it sound good and easier to say. Note that there is no apostrophe S for possession in French. Tariq's teacher, ce n'est pas Tariq's professeur. You need to say le prof de Tariq, the teacher of Tariq. Read through these notes again yourself then copy the grammar explanation into your book. Take five minutes, pause the video now. Activité 4. Using the grid that you've just copied into your book and your new understanding of possessive adjectives, complete each phrase with the correct form of the possessive adjective. The English translation has been provided for you. So you just need to choose the correct form of whatever the possessive adjective says. So for example, our dad is something papa. We want to say our, we know dad is masculine singular. So go up to your grid, our masculine singular, notre papa, our dad. Complete all 10 questions, pause the video now. Check your work. 1. Notre papa. 2. Tes parents. 3. Nos appartements. 4. Leur village. 5. Votre copine. 6. Ses yeux. 7. Ses yeux. This is done intentionally to remind you that it doesn't matter whose eyes they are, a woman's eyes or a man's eyes, because it is plural, that you're always going to use C. Huit. Votre ville. Neuf. Mon copain. Dix. Leur animal. Mark your work out of ten. If you need time to do so, pause the video now. Activité 5. Here is the information sheet or form that was filled out by Vincent. Use the model provided on this screen. Copy it and fill in the gaps in order to write his paragraph out in full in your book. For each gap that you fill in, the information will come from the sheet, the, the form at the top of your screen. Take 10 minutes. Pause the video now. Let's check your work. Bonjour, je m'appelle Vincent. Mes meilleurs amis s'appellent Yasmina, Coralie, Estelle et Patrick. On est différents, mais on a tous les mêmes passe-temps. On va tous dans le même collège, le collège Georges Méliès. C'est un collège moderne et, à mon avis, c'est pas mal. It's not bad. J'adore le gymnase car ma matière préférée, c'est l'EPS. J'aime habiter à Paris parce que la ville est animée, mais malheureusement, c'est trop cher. 
Au collège, j'adore le sport, bien sûr, et mes matières préférées sont le dessin et l'espagnol. Nos profs sont vraiment rigolos. Le week-end, j'aime beaucoup regarder une émission qui s'appelle Talassa à la télé. Mon sport préféré, c'est le tennis. Mon chanteur préféré est Bowie. Il est vieux, mais il est toujours le meilleur. Activité 6. Should you have any time remaining in your hour, translate the paragraph into English. Pause the video now. Bon travail, Year 8. Great work today. Um, please email me if you have any questions about the activities in this lesson, any questions that you have, and here's my email address. Please also remember to submit your work on class charts. And if you didn't update the last lesson on class charts as well, please load that up on there as well, and you should have been told how to do that. I really look forward to seeing your fantastic work and to our next lesson. Merci, au revoir.